What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today I'm going to take you on another garden vlog. I'm going to show you how I plant my tomatoes and peppers. Probably going to do some digging outside. I don't know. I have a lot of stuff to do so I thought I would just take you guys along with me. It's a very exciting time right now because everything that I have worked so hard on since like the beginning of January is starting to bloom outside and it feels like it's going to happen really fast. So I am trying to just take it one day at a time, really enjoy myself. I go out there every morning with my coffee and walk around and just look at the plants. I don't film, I don't do anything except for enjoy what's going on out there. Okay, so these guys have been out overnight for like at least two or three nights now. I think that they're probably fine to go out in the garden. I could probably use a couple more days of acclimation, but you know what? It's time to get stuff done. They're um, pretty big and I think it's time to get them in the ground as quickly as possible. I also have some sunflowers here that definitely need to go in the ground. Look at those peppers are looking great. They're flowering like crazy. I just I gotta get them in the ground. I gotta get them in the ground. All right, let's get to work, guys. Let's get to work. All right, got the tools. What are you doing over there, guy? Got lots of birds competing with the screaming children. I've been popping a little bit of this into each planting hole with everything that I've been planting and I'm pretty sure that that is helping everything look as beautiful as it is now because I've never had uh, such a low amount of transplant shock before so shout out to Espoma, the plant tone. So I've got all kinds of things to do sir. So I've got all kinds of things to do, so let's get it going. Okay, so I have been gardening for about an hour and a half now. I was listening to Aaron Deathly's live feed, so I didn't film anything, but um, I do want to show you guys how I am reviving some pots from last year, because um, like most people, you know, my supplies are limited this year, so I'm trying to make the best out of everything I have before I go out and try to buy anything else, just to limit the amount of time that I'm even out of the house to begin with, for obvious reasons. So what I have here is, this is called a smart pot. They're just like a feltish sort of fabric container. Sir, I don't think your truck is supposed to do that while you drive it. So I'm basically just gonna amend this container, scream over traffic, um, with some compost and some potting mix. And I'm gonna be using a pro mix, which is just peat and perlite, and then Malibu compost booze blend, which is, you know, cow shit. But the cool part about that company is they actually rescue old retired dairy cows and let them pasture and, you know, produce manure that then they, that they can then turn around and sell to people who are trying to consume these things a little bit more ethically. Very cool. Down to just a little bit of pro mix, so I'm going to stretch this as far as we can. I'm going to add some Espoma plant tone in there as well as long, which is what I'm doing for everything. Okay, so I decided to put one of my mystery hot peppers into this container. I got a package of mystery super hot peppers. I just thought it was going to be really fun to just grow something and I have no idea what it is. And you know, it turns out through losing a lot of labels uh, over the last couple of months that I'll be doing that with a few things. But this was an on purpose mystery, so pretty excited to see what comes out of these. They've been flowering like crazy, I, faster than I can pinch them off, so definitely time to go in the ground and just let them go been a little difficult to get some of these out so I really have to squeeze. I should have watered these beforehand. Um, I actually did yesterday but they're already dry so it's another sign that they need to get out of these pots. But it's a nice healthy root system. My grow lights really were just such a game changer this year. If you really feel like you would get a lot of joy out of starting a lot of things from seed highly recommend getting some kind of grow light. Any of the ones that I use are great, um, but definitely the combination of LED lights this year did a lot for my plant starts.
And these stakes definitely need to be replaced or I'm going to lose all of my names again. So I think tonight I'm going to paint some rocks to mark my things. I don't have any plastic tags. Um, so again, we're just going to, we're going to do what we can. So I had one more smart pot full of old potting mix left and I decided to start working on this little flower planter that I just kind of stuck together one day while I was feeling bored. Uh, I have a lot of these cinder blocks laying around from last year so I thought this would be a fun way to use them. So once again all I'm doing is just putting the old potting mix in there, some granulated fertilizer and some um, of this booze compost so that I have a nice nutrient dense soil mix for whatever it is that I decide to put in there which you guys will see in a little bit. So while well, I did have fun starting everything from seed, I couldn't help myself but to go buy a few things. These are just some proven winners plants from down the street and I picked up another thing this day and that is this amazing raised bed. It basically works like a smart pot, but it's a raised bed. So it took me two bales of pro, well actually about one and a half bales of pro mix to fill up this bed and I also emptied a whole bag of compost into the bed as well. So I spent a little while trying to figure out where I wanted to lay everything out. I'm a little skeptical of how close you have to put some things in square foot beds, but I'm going to try it. And right here is where I'm hoping to get a cattle panel arch to have my beans climb up very soon. So now I'm going to give you a nice, a good before and after of how the garden has changed in just a few weeks. Everybody's working away right now. So I'm done for the day. I'm exhausted. I just planted a bunch of leftover bulbs that I had laying around. There was some yellow gladiola and I planted the rest of the zinnia and moved to hosta and just did a whole bunch of stuff that I've been meaning to do. So I'll show you guys the full tour soon. Um, but until then, thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.